ஸ்ரீ முத்துசாமி தீக்ஷிதர் சீம்ஸ் டு ஹாவ் அ ஃபேசினேஷன் ஃபார் கம்போசிங் அ சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் கிருதீஸ் ஆன் அ காம்போசிட் தீம் பர் ஹேப்ஸ் இன் அன் அட்டெம்ப்ட் டு எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் த வேரியஸ் டைமென்ஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த சப்ஜெக்ட் நோ தர் கம்போசர் அஸ் அட்டெம்ப்டட் ஸோ மெனி குரூப் கிருதீஸ் இன் சச் அ பிளான் ஆர்டர்லி அண்ட் மெட்டிகுலஸ் மேனர் த மோஸ்ட் அவுட் ஸ்டாண்டிங் ஆஃப் சச் அ சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் காம்போசிஷன்ஸ் இஸ் அஃப் கோர்ஸ் த மேக்னிஃபிசன்ட் Kamalamba Navavarna Krithis. They are incomparable compositions and are the jewels of Carnatic music. These compositions, intellectually sublime and steeped in deep devotion, are a testimony to Sri Dikshadar's musical genius, his mastery over the Sanskrit language and his thorough knowledge of and intense devotion to Sri Vidya Sri Chakra and the worship of its Avarnas. Through the graceful lyrics, majestic sweep of ragas and descriptive details, rich in mystical symbolism of Tantra, Mantra, Yantra, Yoga, Sri Vidya and Advaita, Dikshadar virtually throws open the doors to the secret world of Sri Vidya to all those who who are eager to approach the divine mother through devotion and through the medium of music it is amazing how shri dikshidar builds into each of his crisp and well known structure of lyrics the references to the name of the chakra the name of its presiding deity the yoginis mudras siddhis and the group of the kadi tradition of shri vidya and to the seed that is the bija mantra In addition he manages to insert as ever cogently the name of the raga and also his own signature that is guru guha the kamalamba navavarna is a treasure house not merely to the classical musical world but also to the sri vidya upaka upasakas kamala is one of the 10 mahavidyas the principal deities of the shakta tradition of tantra but the shri kamalamba referred by shri muthuswami dikshidar in this set of krithis that is the kamalamba navavarna is a supreme divine mother herself the immediate inspiration to dikshidar of course shri kamalamba the celebrated deity at the famous temple of shri tyagarajar and shri nilotpalamba in tiruvarur interestingly the temple complex also accommodates the shrines of mahaganapati subramanya dakshina murti and balamba all being shakti deities the temple complex has a pushkarini named kamalalaya the abode of kamala this tank is referred to by shri dikshidar in his krithis as kamalalaya teertha and the devi is kamalalaya teertha vaibhave The town of Tiruvaru is mentioned here as Kamala Nagara and as Kamalapura referring to Devi as one who resides in and walks about the town of Kamalapura or Kamala Nagara Sri Dikshidar devotes one composition each of the nine avarnas in addition there is also a dhyana kriti a verse in meditation preceding the set of these nine kritis and uh, mangala kriti the verse celebrating the auspiciousness conclusion at the end thus the navavarna compositions of dikshidar per se is a set of 11 kritis the kamalamba navavarna kritis are works of musical as well as poetic excellence they are adorned with sublime music intellectual sophistication soulful devotional relics and richly imaginative poetic imagery listening to the kriti is a truly rewarding experience even if one is not aware of the underlying connotation of sri chakra and sri vidya tradition all the compositions abound in beauty both from the sangeeta as well as the sahitya point of view and reflect the immense devotion of sri dikshidar and his adherence to sri vidya 
in our navaratri vaibhavam festival we feature to you the kamalamba navavarnas of shri muttu swami dikshadar as rendered by anahita and apurva in this first day's presentation we will be bringing to you the dhyana kriti shri kamalambike aashrita kalpalatike in the ragam todi in uh, rupakathalam rendu kale followed by the first avarna kriti in the dhyana kriti shri muttu swami dikshadar says o kamalamba you are the kalpaka tree to those who seek refuge in you you the chandika fierce one wearing beautiful red silk and sporting a parrot in the hand please do protect me her lotus like feet are worshiped by brahma and others she who bestows abundant blessing who is the cause of the glory of kamalalaya consort of shiva and an ocean of compassion she the sovereign ruler of all the world is fond of music she who bestows the talent of poesy and is lovely she who is beyond maya delusions expert in granting salvation remover of distress who rays are the five elements she whose feet are beautiful and red in color who is radiant mother of guru guha and resides in the heart of sada shiva she who is the personification of the alphabets a ka cha ta ta pa etc she is the only essence of all the pervasive universe
Avarnakriti is Kamalamba Samrakshatu Maam in the Ragam Ananda Bhairavi set to Mishra Chaputala. Here in this composition, Sri Muthuswami Dikshadar says, May Goddess Kamalamba, who resides in the heart of Kamala Nagara, protect me. Her lotus like face is praised by virtuous people. She, who is the beloved companion of Lord Sundara Shiva, who revels in joy deriving from wisdom and is very beautiful. She is like the she parrot in the center of the cage known as Tara. She is suzerain of the chakra cosmogram that is Tripura and goddess for the Siddhi power such, such as Anima. She is eternal and, and beloved of Kameshwara, Nitya Kameshwari. She is the sovereign ruler of the Trilokya Mohana Chakra, the circle which begules the three worlds. She is the manifestation of yogic power, conqueror of the enemies of celestials such as Mahishasura. She is revealed in holy scriptures. She is the spouse of Tripuresha Shiva and the mother of Guru Guha. She enjoyed the destruction of Tripura. She is the sister of Vishnu who is the enemy of the demon Madhu. She is slender waisted, Tripura Sundari, there are great goddess and spouse of Maheshwara. Kamalabhasam Rakshatu Maam Shri Kamalabhasam Rakshatu
ما انا 